So what I'm going to do here is I'm heating up water and it's boiling and it's traveling through this copper tubing and coming out over here. And that cloud substance that you can see coming out of there, right here, is something that people think is steam, but it's actually, that's actually liquid water right there. You see kind of a puddle forming underneath here. And as that steam comes out, it cools down as it pushes on air and that causes it to form little tiny liquid droplets and that's what you're seeing there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Bunsen burner, put it underneath the copper coil, and what's going to happen is you're going to see that disappear because it's going to get so hot that the, the steam does not cool down sufficiently as it exits that it's going to remain as steam and therefore it's going to become invisible. And so you can see that right now it's starting to get to that point where it's going away and now we're barely seeing it at all, and now it's gone. And so what we can do now is we can take this steam that we're heating up beyond a typical temperature just above the boiling point of water, and now we can light things on fire with it. And so we kind of have two things here that we're going to go ahead and try. First, we're going to take a sheet of paper. And while it's not actually lighting on fire, you can see that it's definitely charring the paper because that steam is so hot that when it hits it, it's able to break apart chemical bonds and lead to the formation of the burned substance there. So we're seeing some oxidation occur even though we haven't actually gotten it to ignite. To get it to ignite, we need something that has a little bit lower of a flash point than paper, which we do. So first of all, here is a match. And the match has phosphorus in it. So when the phosphorus gets struck by that really, really hot steam, then we can go ahead and create fire using water. Now the third thing we're going to do is this time we're going to add what's called flash cotton. So flash cotton is just regular cotton that's been soaked in nitric and sulfuric acids. But for this, it has nitro groups added through that soaking in the acid and that means it can provide its own oxygen source. And so when I put this near there, very quickly you can see that it burns quite easily. So for the next one we're going to do a little bit closer and we're going to do a little bit more flash cotton just to kind of make it fun.